okay, I'm going to try to pretend to get my life together because oh. I am fangirling so hard. Oh, thank you. Oh Miss Man, when I think of Sports Illustrated, I think of you on that cover. You are part you. of their history. They are part of your history. What is it like returning for 60? It feels crazy. Like, I'm 50 and it's 60. It means it started when I was 10, right? Like, I... I love being like some of, like the older model on set. I don't know why I do, but I feel like a sage. I feel like the Oprah of modeling. You know what I mean? I feel like I've been here. I can I can teach you guys things. So it feels it feels really good. A lot of the women that I've spoken to, like they talk about a milestone being the fact that they were on set with you. Did you give them any advice? You did say you feel like the Oprah on set. Yeah. So there was one of the models. I won't say her name. Very famous. She's on this cover. She um, wanted a mentoring session. So it was, I think it was the morning before the shoot. We had an hour breakfast at the hotel and just gave her advice, really deep, deep advice, career advice on how to take her stuff to the, even the next level. So it just makes it. She's like, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm like, no, thank you. You make me feel like I have something to offer to help you. So it makes me feel good, too. So much to offer. Oh, my gosh. Um, when you look back at when you were on the cover, how has the modeling industry as a whole industry changed? Um, a lot of people tell me, oh, I want to be a model. I want to be a model. I was like, do you have a camera phone? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, well, then you can be a model, boo. Right? You can photo shoot. You can, you can edit what we used to call retouch. You can publish yourself. You can get ads. You can, so you don't necessarily need the modeling industry and powers that be to be a model. However, there are a few brands in the world that if you do get that real modeling job, it will change your life. And that is Sports Illustrated. Okay, so you turned 50. Yes. Happy birthday. Congratulations. Thank you. What does that feel like? What is this chapter of your life? Oh, my God. I Besides my freaking hip that is killing my ass. Oh, my gosh. So that is the one thing. I have sciatica. And I could not walk more than 100 meters without, like, sitting down. So I got really sad. And I was just eating a lot. And just finally got um, an epidural in my back. And now I can kind of walk better, getting in shape again. So that's the only thing I don't like about 50 is like when you hurt yourself, it takes a lot to get back. But other than that, oh my God, I feel freedom. I, I say what I feel a lot more. Um, it feels good. A lot more cellulite though. I used to only have cellulite on the back. Now I got cellulite on the front, girl. On the front, girl. It used to be where I could just like back up out of the room. Child, I can't back up because it's on the front too. <laughs> You're just going to have it. They're just going to give it to you. It's just 360 cellulite. Do you think you'd still be modeling? Um, am I still modeling? Or, or did I, I, I modeled? I modeled for the shoot. I don't feel like I'm modeling, but people keep telling me that I should do it again. So I'm thinking about maybe doing it, like, like runway and stuff. We'll see. I haven't said that to anybody. Extra, you are the only people on this whole red carpet that I said that I'm thinking about really, really modeling, like for real, for real, like fashion shows and like covers of magazines that are not sports illustrated the tyra comeback we are here for are it here for oh okay, my I god hope that my hip is here for it and let's hope that i can get the right lighting so the front of my thighs with the cellulite is not showing as much we've come a long way when it comes to beauty empowerment and inclusivity but y'all will still hate on me in the comments about this cellulite on the front of my thighs it is what it is they will have to see me about right, that right did what's i hear good what's good What's good? What's good? <laughs> <laughs> Did I hear correctly that you took your first sip of alcohol at your birthday? Yes. Not first sip. No, no, I've, I've tasted. First drink. I know what things taste like. So when I had it on my birthday, it was like a tasting, and it just was nasty. So I couldn't finish any of the cups of wine because I was like, this tastes nasty. I don't get it. I don't understand. So it took a couple of days after my birthday, and I finally had a whole drink. And then I stood up. And the room went. And then it stopped swirling. And then I walked out and I was fine. Yeah. I'm good. I don't understand. It doesn't. I was like, I'm not supposed to feel like I'm flying. Isn't that what alcohol is supposed to do? I don't know. So it didn't do that for me. But I did have some champagne on the airplane on the way here for this party. And I feel so elegant. I'm holding it and I feel like, I feel elegant. I feel cute. Yeah, I get it, y'all. I get it.